on everybody and welcome to a brand new episode of trading to glory my name is elite and today we're going to be talking about what you need to be buying for a club stock right now and what do i mean by club stock club stock is basically where you buy one of each card and then you're going to storm away in the club for when they rise later i'm going to go through a bunch of these different players this doesn't mean that you go unassigned a thousand cards and wait for these cards to go up because the turnaround time on these are unknown it depends on when SBCs drop, it depends on when league SBCs drop, and we're going to get into that in this episode. By all means, you guys can throw these on your transfer list, you can go unassigned if you please, but that doesn't mean I'm going to be doing that. Also, I don't know if I'd suggest it, just because it could get annoying if you have those cards on your unassigned and it takes two weeks for the cards to turn around and make profit. Sure, it might be worth it, you'll make some profit, but during those two weeks, it could be very stagnant and annoying for you guys. So I don't suggest doing something like that. Nonetheless, let's get into the idea behind it and the first couple of teams that we're gonna go for, first couple of players, I guess you could say. So the idea behind it is when we saw Bundesliga's league SBC drop, you saw Mines, 11 players from Mines needed. Dortmund, you needed 11 players. Dusseldorf, 11 players. Augsburg, 11 players. Here's where it was different. You had Bayern Munich, where you needed six Bayern players and 11 Bundesliga, which means that you could have gone five Bundesliga players that weren't from Bayern, which we'd never seen before, and we didn't see it at all throughout the rest of Bundesliga. All the other teams needed 11 players. What happened to the Bayern Munich players because of this, they all skyrocketed in price, whether they were left backs, whether they were strikers, whether they were goalies, whether they were center mids, they all went up in price on Bayern Munich pretty evenly as well. Sure, at this point in time, some of the cards have dropped a little more than others. Players like Ulreich, players like Toliso are a little bit cheaper than players such as Goretzka or Xavi Martinez because 84s are a little bit up and, you know, Ulreich's pretty low rated, so he's pretty down there. Same for Pavard. And after a few weeks, it's kind of fizzled out for the prices overall because Ulreich's down to about 1,200 now when he was over 3,000 coins when the SBC dropped. If you had those Ulreich cards or at least one of them for whatever he was, probably around discard price right and you held on to it and it was in your club you probably would have been able to sell them for 4,000 coins on the first day that that Bundesliga League SBC did drop same thing for Pavard th same thing for Javi Martinez or Toliso etc so that happened for Bayern Munich and then in the uh, League One Conferama SBC what we saw was the exact same thing the exact same situation and Paris Saint Germain was that team so you kind of got an idea all right they're doing this with the big clubs, the super clubs. They're doing it with PSG. They're doing it with Bayern, mostly because they don't have as many low rated cards and you might have to go with some like 85s and 86s, which isn't really what EA want, obviously, for these league SBCs, which made PSG players go from 700 coins and they shot up again to 3.5K and I made a ton of coins that day with PSG. So I wanna share that with you guys so you're prepared this time for the next one. So when you think about it, what is what are the next SBCs gonna drop? So for league SBCs, we're due at least one this week. I don't know what leagues are gonna be. We're due maybe two. We can see one on Monday and see one on Wednesday, which would mean that at least one of those is gonna be a big league. So we've got Serie A, we've got, um, we've got Premier League, we've got La Liga, those are all left. And a couple other decent leagues like Eredivisie with Ajax or Liga Nos with Sporting, Benfica and Porto. So you got a couple decent teams in other leagues, but overall it's La Liga, you've got uh, Premier League, and you got Serie A. So when you think about super teams in those leagues that EA are gonna make only six player requirements, the teams that come to mind first for me are definitely uh, Juventus or Piemonte Calcio. Definitely Piemonte Calcio, and you don't have to go gold really because every single player for both Bayern and for um, PSG all rose up in price. So you don't really have to go gold, so you could get some Pinsaglios or whatever. Now there's not gonna be that many silver and bronze players on these super teams, because I mean, that's the point. They are really good teams. But you can go ahead and pick up one of each. I've already got a Benton Kerr, so I'll pick up a Pinsaglio and go ahead and throw him into the club and uh, hold on to that for a while. I've already got a Benton Kerr, I've already got a, uh, I've already got an Emre Chan, maybe pick up a Kadira. 
uh, as well. That wouldn't be a terrible idea. But right now, that's about what the cheapest ones for Piemonte Calcio are. Maybe try to pick these up during uh, times of SBCs dropping at 6 p.m. UK. Because if an SBC drops and it gives away like a really cheap 30k pack or 25k pack, then a lot of supply will hit the market. Or you can do this on Sunday night, which the day that this video goes up is Sunday morning. So Sunday night bidding, squad battle rewards, pick up a bunch of players from Piemonte Calcio, pick up a bunch of players from other leagues. Let's go to the other ones, the other ideas. Um, obviously, I mean, La Liga, you know the teams, Real Madrid. So you've got players like Valverde, you got Rodrigo, you've got, um, what else? You got De La Fuente here. Uh, you've got Mariano in, in here, Brahim. Uh, definitely is a good idea to pick him up. I'll go ahead and grab a Brahim for myself real quick because I don't have him yet. Um, I do have a Mariano. I've got a Valverde uh, because I've already gone through and, and I've picked up uh, a few of these already and, and I want to club stock myself as well. So I've picked up a few different guys from here. Odria Zola, got to pick him up as well for sure, for sure. I think I might already have an Odria Zola, so I'll just send him to the transfer list. I have him in my team, coincidentally, but not as a club stock. But that's still a pretty good deal on him. So we'll move on to, obviously, uh, you've got Barcelona. And I think Barcelona is going to be a moneymaker, by the way, because Barcelona just does not have very many really cheap cards. They've got, um, they've got uh, Alenia. Right, and then they've got a few different silver cards, yeah, but you can't use too many silvers, right? You can't use too many silvers in the SBC because they're probably going to require an 80 rating. So getting some of the gold guys, maybe picking up a Requi Puig and a, and a Reese might not be a terrible idea. I'm not saying they're not going to be a good investment, but I'm also saying maybe spend a couple more hundred coins and pick up the golds as well. So we got Requi Puig, we've got the uh, other guy, uh, whatever his name was, um, Reese. Just send him into the club. There's no harm in that. And all we got to do is wait now because we know they're going to go up in price. We know there's going to be profit as long as I just hold him in the club. Sure, it's not going to be immediate profit. I'm not going to make these coins tomorrow. I guess most likely we're not going to, it's not going to drop tomorrow, but it could. And uh, we don't, we don't know when, when this SPC is going to drop. So we just th throw him in the club and the profit will come later. The profit will come and, and we'll just be ready for it. Uh, as we get closer, maybe we see some leaks. Maybe we have a real suspicion. It's like, okay, we're due for this league SBC. Maybe go unassigned then, but not randomly like right now. For Premier League, but I don't expect EA to do that for all top six teams in the Prem because when you look at it, you've got a lot of low rateds at Arsenal. You've got a lot of low rateds at like maybe, you know, Liverpool even, although they are one of the better clubs. They do have a lot of low rated gold cards that you can go with. So it's more so teams like maybe Tottenham and Manchester City that are going to be the teams that they go with the six player requirements. Now, they could go with some other teams, but I don't know for sure if they're going to. I think the most likely just based on the fact that these teams have a lot more of higher rated starting 11s and they don't really have too many low rated and even when they are low rated such as Sissoko and Indon Belly for Spurs, they are a few thousand coins. So that's why I'm thinking maybe Spurs as well. I think for sure we're going to see Man City, without a doubt, is going to be one of those teams with the six-player requirements. So picking up uh, Claudio Bravo, Phil Foden, um, maybe a couple of the bronze cards as well. Might as well pick up one of each, right? Because they are cheap. Uh, Zinchenko is pretty cheap. So... As you can see, there's only a few different options at less than a thousand coins, just normally. There's only a few different options that are gold. It looks like Foden, Bravo, and Zinchenko are the three options, which means that they're obviously going to be, you know, bought. But then you don't really have any too, too many other options other than the bronzes and silvers. I could definitely see Manchester City going up to like 4,000 coins, 5,000 coins per card. So picking up one of each of them is definitely a move. So go ahead and grab some of the bronzes first. Uh, I haven't bought any Man City players yet, so we'll go ahead and get Grimshaw. He's a goalkeeper there, and he's 300 coins. Sure, he might not rise quite as much as the gold cards. He's not going to rise as much as Zinchenko, right? But he's not going to stay at 300 coins either. That's for sure. We've got another goalkeeper here at 400 coins. Might as well go ahead and grab a buh. Zunu. If I was mass investing, I'd go in on the same cards. I wouldn't buy one of each. But since we're just club stocking, I'm going to go through and just get one of each card. Uh, that way, we can just send them to the club and not worry about them. So as I explained earlier, it looks like there's no more um, no more bronzes in there. Let's go ahead and grab a couple gold cards. Claudio Bravo, Zinchenko, 
and uh, Phil Foden. So let's go and grab these guys. Phil Foden, uh, Claudio Bravo there. Go ahead and send them to the club. Go ahead and get a Zinchenko here as well. And then I'll move on and we're going to look at a couple of the other teams. And then we've got another idea for a club stock as well for you guys. So don't worry. We're not only doing league SBCs in this video. We're going to go with the other uh, ideas I have as well. So um, let me go ahead and grab a Zinchenko real quick. I imagine the quickest way to do this is just go ahead and put Ukraine here and, and search it that way. That way it just filters out all the other ones. Go ahead and grab Zinchenko. I guess I could have just typed his name in as well. <laughs> but uh, moving on to Spurs, we're going to look at them. Um, scroll over, Spurs. Okay, and right now the cheapest Spurs players we've got is Wanyama and Dyer. Uh, I did expect them to pop up. Let's see, is there anybody else that is popping up for gold cards at Spurs? I imagine Aria isn't too expensive, but he is a fullback. So maybe a couple uh, more. Oh yeah, Winks and Gazaniga. Okay, so there's actually four for Spurs. And then you've also got Aria, uh, who, who could be cheap. Davies and Rose came to mind. So there's like maybe seven or eight cheaper guys for Spurs. So they might go with the 11 requirement on Spurs. It's so obviously less likely than Manchester City, don't get me wrong. Let's go and take a look at Liverpool as well, because obviously you've got players such as Lovren and Milner who are super cheap. Uh, Milner's popping up. Lalana is is quite cheap there. Maybe a Spur or Liverpool as well. You got Oxlade, Chamberlain, and Keita and Klein. All right, so there's six already right there, Kate. There. It looks like there's six, but a little less than Spurs. So maybe go ahead and do a club stock of Liverpool as well. I mean, no harm, no foul. It's not like they're going to drop when the SBC uh, comes out anyway. It's not like they can go down in price after that SBC drops. So you're probably making profit either way with these club stocks, right? You're probably making profit either way. So there's not much of a, a reason not to buy these guys anyway. I'm just thinking what is going to make us the most profit, which teams are going to make us the most profit. So we went ahead and picked up a couple of Liverpool players. I already had Milner in my club, so I'll just go ahead and send him to the transfer list. Maybe look at Manchester United. Let's go ahead and see how many cheap guys are on Man United. We've got McTominay and Matic and... Uh, even the lower rated guys like Juan Bissaka are a little expensive. So, and looking at it, it looks like there's only two cheap gold players from Manchester United. There might be more popping up at about 1400. We've got uh, Bayi, we've got Diogo Dallo, who's pretty cheap. That's still only four uh, different gold cards for Man U. So they might do the uh, six player requirement for Manchester United as well. So I'll go and pick up a couple of these guys. And then we're going to move on to our next idea because sure, I could go through every single team and pick up different players, right? But you guys are, uh, get the point for sure. Like hopefully I've, I've kind of um, taught you guys what really, really what my idea is here with the club stock. Go ahead and pick up my McTominay. I'll go ahead and grab my buy later and everything just so we can speed up the video a little bit. Next up, we're going to look at cards that normally rise for random SBCs. And when I say random SBCs, I mean like daily SBCs. I mean the ones that EA dropped during promos that are pretty simple. They might require 80 chemistry and a 78 rated team and a max of three nations or something along those lines. Something pretty basic that everybody can complete, mostly with players already in their club. Mostly. Some people are going to need to go out. Maybe they have eight players and they need to buy three. Stuff, stuff like that. What players do rise when those SBCs drop? And what I've noticed is trends in different filters. So the first filter that I've made bank on is German, gold, and left back. And it's not strictly two left back, but I've found that's the one that works the best. And not only does this work as a sniping filter, of course, but it works as an investing method as well with our club stock idea. So right now you can pick up Gunter, who I already have, at 850. You can pick up uh, players like Philip Max. You can pick up players such as Schmelzer, although he's a little bit more because of the Dortmund SBC. You can pick up a bunch of different left backs. Plattenhart is another one. And right now they go for about 1,100 coins. But whenever those SBCs drop, uh, and they have a four back, right? And they might even have a maximum nation requirement, which is going to help this a lot because a lot of people would just go Germany because it's a, a country that a lot of players are from. Um, and there's only a handful of left backs that are German and gold. It's only like six or seven. And, uh, you know, you got Halstenberg and, and Plattenhardt and all those guys, right? And these cards normally go from 1,000 to 2K just because of that SBC. So they double in price. So if you have all six of them, in your club, that's an immediate six, 7,000 coins. 
or if you send them a new transfer list, get 100 on your transfer list, that's 100K to 200K, just like that. So why wouldn't you? It's free coins, right? So go ahead and pick up a Gunter, go ahead and pick up a Platinum Heart, go ahead and get each guy, maybe snipe them a little bit to get that Halstenberg, because a couple of them went up because of the League SBC. Nonetheless, that's one of the filters there. Another one that I really like is Italian center backs. There's only a handful of these guys as well, although there are more of them because Serie A has some random uh, Italian center backs, but they always rise with these SBCs. I remember looking at one of them that dropped and it was a three back formation. It was like a three, five, two. And these cards went from uh, what they are right now, about 800, 900, and they went up to 2,500. And I made a lot of coins on that. So I went, I went out and, you know, every single time you go ahead and pick up an Ogbonna for 800, pick up a Masiello for 900, pick up a Tonelli for 900. I'm just going to go ahead and send them to the club and we're going to wait for those cards to easily just make us profit and we don't even have to really do anything. So that's some easy coins right there. Nonetheless, you can use these different filters as well as sniping filters. You can use them as investing methods. If you're expecting an SBC to drop, go for it because it's really, really easy to make coins on some of these. And those are just two examples. There's a ton that work and there's a ton that you could probably find that I don't know about. So go out and venture for yourself, figure out some filters that work for you that rise. I'm sure like maybe French left mid or right mid could probably work. I haven't tried it, but it sounds like something that would work with this with this idea. Anyways, guys, hopefully this ends up making you some coins. Hopefully you guys have been enjoying this Trading the Glory series. If you're new, hit that sub button for me. It's easy. It's free. Help me help you with Trading the Glory, the series you're watching right now. Squad building challenge guides, more trading tips, and more FIFA 20 content. Anyways, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace out.